Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a tag video. Um, it was created by Manaw Hill from Perfume Realm and it's called my top 10 most unique perfumes in my collection. I'm going to leave her channel linked down below. She is just awesome. Uh, I love, uh, well, I just think she's a very, very sweet person. Uh, in fact, she was one of the ones when I first started into the fragrance community that reached out to me and was so helpful and welcoming. And so I, <laughs> especially on Instagram, because I had no clue how to work Instagram. And so I kept on texting her questions and she kept on uh, telling me how to do stuff. So uh, I just really appreciate Manaw Hill and I also uh, just love her content. So I'm going to leave her YouTube channel but also her Instagram because she has a very beautiful way of describing perfumes uh, that I've not actually seen anywhere else. So I really appreciate her take on fragrances and she has a, an extremely uh, beautiful, uh, almost poetic way of describing perfumes. So I love reading all of her Instagram posts because I just love the way she describes the scents. Uh, and she's got an amazing collection as well. So please check her out. Uh, and if you haven't joined the Weird and Wonderful family, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to join uh, the community and it helps the channel grow <laughs> if you you actually subscribe but also leaving comments all of that thank you so much for all of you that participate on a weekly basis by commenting I love chatting with you guys it's so much fun and yeah it's it's just wonderful so thank you so much um, and I guess let's get into this now uh, the way I chose to do this I'm not sure if these are the most unique fragrances in the world but uh, they are the most unique to my collection and there's a reason why I chose each one. So uh, let's get started. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is Amethyst by Lalique. Uh, so the reason why oh, the reason why I find this one so unique is uh, you know the the notes describe this as being like just basically a berry berry blast. Like there's so many different fruits in here. Uh, so when I think of fruits, I think of kind of the default fruit perfume that's out there that's super sweet, uh, super kind of more berries and cream or, you know, it's always sweet. This one is not sweet in my opinion. This one is more green. Uh, this one is just, it smells like uh, actually more underripe fruit than overripe fruit. Uh, and it's got this green woody note. Um, so what I've said before in the past is that to me it smells like you've taken all these berries and their stems and their leaves and you've muddled them all up and the smell that you get from that is the smell that you get uh, from this. So uh, just very unique. It's one that had to grow on me for sure. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a really cool perfume and I think it's also really great for fall. So Lilique Amethyst. The next uh, most unique perfume that I have is Nirvana Rose by Elizabeth and James. The reason why I find this unique, uh, first of all, it only has three notes uh, and it's rose, geranium, and vetiver. It smells like you get a bit of that vetiver woodiness. Uh, but mainly to me, it just smells like wine and roses. And so I have nothing like that in my collection, nor have I ever smelt anything like this one. So yeah, it just smells, it smells like wine and roses. It smells like I should have a big, huge glass of, <laughs> glass of wine. And then either every time I take a sip of wine, I'm sniffing a rose or well, I don't know, maybe I've like mushed the rose in the, the wine. I, I'm not sure, but that's what it smells like to me. Uh, and for whatever reason, I just, I love this one. I think it smells amazing. So uh, Nirvana Rose. The next perfume that I have for you is by Maison Margiela's Replica line. Uh, and I find a lot of the perfumes are really neat, unique. Um, just they kind of evoke a time and a place. They evoke memories. Um, yeah. So this one is by the fireplace. Um, it smells like there's a fire going. Like uh, I think, I don't know what kind of, I think it's Gayak wood. 
I think that's the kind of wood that's in this, but it makes it smell like there's a fire going. So it smells like uh, a woody fireplace. You're smelling a little bit of that smoke, uh, but then you get like um, a little bit of a, uh, the warmth of a chestnut with marshmallow mixed in. And this dries down so beautifully. Um, and literally, I have never smelled anything like this because uh, it really does smell like there's a fire going and you're roasting mash marshmallows and shoving them in your mouth. I've talked about it a billion times. It's just super warm and comforting. It smells kind of like Christmas. <laughs> uh, actually, I've got a few here that smell like Christmas to me. But anyway, uh, this one is super unique because of that fireplace aspect. Like, uh, it smells like it's on fire, uh, but in a really, really good way. So yeah, by the fireplace, amazing, amazing perfume. The next most unique perfume I have for you is new to my collection and it's Versace. I'm having a hard time speaking today. <laughs> uh, is Versace Crystal Noir. Now the reason why I find this one unique is, uh, is because it smells somehow cold. So I describe this as aloof and I don't have anything else like this in my collection as far as smelling kind of cold and aloof. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe this. So one of my uh, wonderful subscribers put uh, the whole list of new, uh, notes that's on the Versace site, which is completely different than the Fragrantica uh, um, notes uh, for this perfume. But what I smell, I'll leave the, the notes, I'll put the notes somewhere up here uh, because they're way different than what people seem to think. Uh, and, and honestly, what I smell from this doesn't smell like I don't get any of the notes that are actually in here. What I get is black pepper. That's mainly what I get. Matt, black pepper and honestly, I get a little bit of coffee in this, even though no, neither of, holy moly, am I ever having a trouble, have a hard time. Even though these notes aren't in this perfume, what I notice the most is black pepper, a little bit of coffee, and then sandalwood, which is in this perfume. Uh, but what it creates is kind of a colder smelling perfume. Uh, and I don't have anything that I would call cold other than this one. To me, this one smells aloof. It smells like just kind of a nasty, mean woman. Nasty, mean, beautiful woman. I said that before and I stand by that. To me, this smells like a leather jacket, high heeled boots, dark, long whoo hair, who has kind of a contemptuous look on her face and she smells fabulous. She smells cold because she kind of is cold, but intoxicating at the same time. That's this perfume. And yeah, yeah, I don't have anything that's cold like this. I don't even know why. I, I don't know if it's the pepper that makes it cold, but to me it just smells cold. It doesn't smell warm spicy, it smells cold spicy. The next perfume that I have to share with you is also new to my collection and it is Lalique Le Parfum. I cannot get over how heavy this bottle is. It's quite fabulous. Anyway, uh, this one to me is unique because of the bay leaf note. So it would be like your normal vanilla scent, except it's got bay leaf thrown in. And it kind of, like between this one, uh, this having black pepper, and this having fire and chestnutty, it smells like a Thanksgiving feast to me. Like, I think I could wear all three of them and be really happy. <laughs> like, I can smell them in the air right now, and my mouth is watering because it smells a little bit like stuffing and pie all at the same time. <laughs> uh, Anyway, this one, it's it's really different. Like it's just not typical with that bay leaf note. Um, yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. Just the, the bay leaf gives it a bit of a woody, spicier depth. Um, like it's, yeah, it's just, it's different than anything that I have or have smelt. I don't know if Lalique is known for doing more unique scents, but to me, both of these are very different than anything I've smelt anywhere else. And all of a sudden, I'm wondering how these two would smell together. Let's see. That's interesting. I'm going to try that next. This one supposedly has vanilla in it, but I never, never get that out of this. 
but with this one added to it, I think I've just found myself a new, a new love. Mmm, I can't wait to try that. Anyway, uh, I find both these Lily perfumes really unique uh, in their own ways. So the next one that I have that I find unique, uh, definitely unique to me, is uh, Intense Cafe by Montal. Um, I've never smelled anything that is so rose and coffee oriented. Now I have, now that I have the Florence, it somehow reminds me of this, but never before had I ever smelled anything like this. And I just love it. I think it's unique. Uh, I love, I love again, the feeling that it evokes. So whereas this is roses and wine and I just, I have, have moments in my mind or scenarios in my brain for a perfume like this, uh, same thing with this one. So I just imagine sitting in a cafe shop in Paris, drinking an exceptionally strong, but sugar and creamed coffee, like sugar and creamed to the max. And there's a, a, a kind of like one of those little vases with a few roses in it. And so I'm drinking my coffee and I can smell these wafts of roses. And that's what I get from this. I also get kind of a woody, like a slight oud or almost like a cedar scent to it. And so I just love this. I love it. It's, I have nothing like it. The other thing that's interesting about this is that it just doesn't smell like a typical perfume. And I've heard that Montel and Mancera tend to be a little bit more synthetic. So I don't know if it's the synthetic nature of it, uh, but it's just different than anything I, else I have. I have no other Montels that I can compare this to. So I don't know what the deal is, but I just find this unique. Uh, I love the coffee and roses. And in that sense, it's not something new because there's lots of rose paired with oud, rose paired with praline, rose paired with sweet, and it always works really good. But having that coffee in there just somehow is so neat and original to me. So Instant Cafe by Montel. Now the next one that I have is a, also a three note perfume and it is Olympia Intense. And the reason why this is unique to me is because of the salt. Now I know that there is Olympia, Olympia Aqua. So this is not, uh, not unique to the whole line, but this one is just amped up with salt, amber, and vanilla. And I, like, I, I just crave the salt in this. Um, and that's why I find it unique. Mm. Oh yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. It's really sweet, um, almost resinous. And then with that salt kick in there, uh, it does salt in such a nice way. I never thought I would like salt in a perfume, but in this, it just smells fabulous. It smells sexy. It smells goddess-ish. <laughs> Whereas this is a cold woman wearing a biker jacket and leather boots. Uh, and, and by the way, she's not riding on the back of a, a, a bike. No way. This woman rides her own bike and it's a fabulous Harley. There's no way she would get on the back of a bike. She rides her own. And if she's not riding her own bike, she's riding a sports car and I think it's yellow, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so this woman, she is regal, she's gorgeous, she's a goddess, she's coming up out of the ocean as some sort of sea queen. Her hair's all slicked back, uh, but it smells like she's been uh, warming up in the sun for quite a while with the salt of the ocean on her skin. And that's what this smells like to me with vanilla, <laughs> with vanilla thrown in. How is it that people actually get out of a pool or any sort of a water looking beautiful? Like you always see it in TV shows and magazines where these women, they just, you know, they step out and they like Bo Derek, you know, or whoever. They always look amazing. Like, how is that possible? Because I look like a drowned rat when I come out of the water. Like my lips half the time are purple. My hair is like doing this. You want to talk unique? This is unique. I look crazy coming out of the water. <laughs> it's just, why? It's just not fair. <laughs> anyway, this is a beautiful perfume. And because of that salt note, definitely unique. The next perfume that I have, I just have a decant of it, and it's Tobacco Vani by Tom Ford. Now this one, honestly, this is one of my favorite perfumes. Uh, 
Mm. I just love it. I love the tobacco in this and I love it's got dried fruit in it uh, and what it smells like is a boozy tobacco vanilla to me and I have this is the only perfume that I've smelt like this uh, where it captures that sweeter tobacco um, I just think it's so gorgeous uh, I've never smelt anything like it I've never smelt I've, I've smelt things that try to smell like this but never quite succeed um, so I just love this one. I love that tobacco note. It just makes me feel like, so again, to me, unique perfumes are gonna evoke some sort of time and place, memory, that sort of thing. And to me, uh, I just imagine myself going into an Irish pub uh, and there are, like I'm wearing, I can imagine myself wearing um, kind of like a plaid uh, cloak uh, yeah, plaid cloak. Um, I've got big, or I've got leather, I'd say forest green boots, but maybe brown boots. But anyway, some sort of riding boot. Yeah, let's go with a riding boot. So I imagine myself going into an Irish pub with riding boots on and this plaid cloak and I walk in and there's a bunch of, there's music playing, Irish music. There's uh, some liquor, obviously, and you can smell the, the pipe tobacco from guys smoking, maybe girls are smoking it too, but you can smell this pipe tobacco smell and uh, and you got the music going and the chatter, somehow that's what this reminds me of. Smoking uh, pipes, pipe smoke. Oh, I just, I love it with that a little bit of booze in there. So uh, I love this. It makes me feel really wistful and warm uh, when I wear this. So tobacco vanille, love it, unique, very unique. I have two more perfumes to share with you guys, and the first one is Casimir by Chopard. And I've talked about this one a lot, so I'm not gonna belabor it, but uh, this one is just so, oh, every time I smell this. Yeah, it just, uh, I love that apricot smell. It's uh, fairly simple. I guess it's got quite a lot of notes. Seriously, my arm, because the perfume keeps spraying down and landing on my arm. Smells like Thanksgiving. <laughs> this smells like the pie. So this smells like an apricot pie. It's got some vanilla in there. Uh, it's got apricot and peach, but I notice the apricot the most. And it's just unique because I don't have anything apricot-y in my collection. Um, and yeah, I've ne I just, I, again, never smell anything quite like this. So if you like apricot, uh, sweeter, like it's kind of a bit syrupy, uh, this one is, is an interesting one for sure. So, uh, Casimir by Chopard. Now the last perfume I have for you is probably my favorite perfume right now. Like seriously, out of everything in my collection. I love it. I love it beyond, I, 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 I there's no words really. And it is Alien Essence Absolute. I wore this one last night. Mm, I just love this one. It just smells just so sexy to me like you can't get around it um you get the alien in there mm, but then you get the vanilla and just uh it smells like a resinous vanilla ambery scent it smells so intoxicating and sultry uh and then like the alien alien is a fairly intoxicating sultry scent as it is but then when you throw uh, the vanilla and the like incense -y smell that this has in the mix, you like you take it to a whole other level. <laughs> Sultry, <laughs> intoxicating deliciousness. Oh, this one is just amazing. I love it. I think it's extremely unique and I am very sad that this is the only size of bottle that they have and it's getting harder and harder to come by. Uh, because it's seriously, I just think this is the sexiest thing I have ever smelled. Like literally, I haven't smelled anything better than this. Like, I don't know. I, I just, I love it. I think it's totally intoxicating is the only word that I can think of. Like to me, this smells like a love potion. Like, yeah, I won't go any further. <laughs> I like this one a lot. 
so that's my that's my collection of most unique perfumes. Uh, again, maybe these aren't unique to you. Uh, these are the most unique that I have currently. Uh, yeah, for all different reasons, uh, mainly because of like potential notes or just what, what just what they do just what they do, just what they evoke in me. Uh, I find them unique. What makes a perfume extraordinary to me or unique is when it evokes that emotion or, uh, you know, some sort of scenario in my head. Uh, then a perfume has done something special and it's, it's beyond just the artistry of the smell. It takes it into some other realm of funness for me. That I just really love. So Manah Hill uh, from Perfume Realm, again, please check out her channel. She's just uh, a very wonderful person and has fantastic, uh, fantastic insight on perfume. She's got a great nose. Uh, so yeah, you need to check her channel out and I'll leave all of the info. Check her channel out, but also check her Instagram because she, like I said, she's a fantastic uh, writer, like the way she writes uh, and describes perfumes uh, from a written perspective is just absolutely stunning. So please check her out there. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. Check me out on IG too. Don't forget about me. <laughs> no, check me out too. I'll leave all the information down below uh, as well as all these perfumes down below. And what is your most unique perfume? What is the one that just evokes that sense of awe in you or puts you in a mood or you know what would you say is your most unique perfume i'd love to hear about it comment down below and that's it for today so thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon